Welcome to the barracks, ladies and gentlemen. You may recognize this place from videos such as First Try Friday or First Try Friday After Next, the one with the goofy neighbors. But there's a lot of people in the background of this place that make all the magic happen. And today you're gonna to get an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the barracks. When it's your first time at the legendary barracks and you come through that entrance at the end of the parking lot, there's no way that you don't look directly all the way down here at this building and not say to yourself, damn, that's a lot of speed bumps. It's a bumpy ride. There's so many damn speed bumps, it's crazy. Don't even try to avoid them or switch lanes. This is like quicksand, okay? It'll only worsen your speed bump scenario. You could get some scoliosis in your back. This is the entrance. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's some parenthesis shaped marks right on the door about here. That's from the thousands of people every week who go like this. This is the entrance lounge. Just like a lot of houses have family rooms and living rooms, but nobody hangs out in the family room except for pizza guys. Nobody hangs out in here, except for nerds, Ryan Demi. You wanna kick it? You follow me. Where you wanna be is the kitchen. This is the place to be. One, air conditioner. Two, one-way mirror. Middle fingers without consequence. Does he think we can't see him? Most importantly, free food. Well, free for me. People bring the lunch and I eat it. The trick is, I don't work here. They can't fire me. Schwoopers again. I had that yesterday. Why do they keep buying that? Now you're gonna see where all of the magic happens. Except for like all of the magic that happens at the other places, but there's definitely some magic happening in here. You may recognize Chase, the great filmer, great editor, but he's not just the only one here doing magic. There's a lot of nameless heroes here. Mainly this guy. I don't know his name. He's been here for like a year. I keep forgetting to ask. And now it's just awkward at this point. This is Tom. He looks like a cartoon character. I don't really know what he does. Say hi, Tom. What's up, Tom? Okay. This right here is you. He's a house photographer and a superstar, baby. We treat our superstars like LeBron James at the Lakers. He wanted two computers. Boom, two computers. He wanted a portrait of himself hanging up. We didn't have the money for that, so I did it on a little piece of paper, but it's still pretty damn good. This right here is the main cubicle room where people come from all over the world to work in these cubicles. There's so many cubicles, I lose track of everybody. So now I just stick with a nice old Clark Griswold hello. Hey, all right, how's it going? Kiss my ass, kiss his ass, kiss your ass. Then we go. This is uh, Monica, she's part of the barracks family. She's here like every day. And we kind of relate because we're kind of, well, she's from a much rougher area than where I'm from. She's from Brazil. It's kind of crazy growing up there, right? But like compared to mine, it's probably a lot worse like me. You know Philadelphia? That's where I was like born and raised. These playgrounds where I would spend like, I don't know, like most of my days, I'd just be like chilling out, just maxing with my friends, all cool. And I was shooting b-ball with some fools and these like guys, they're just up to no good. And they're just starting trouble in my neighborhood and like, I got like just one fight. And my mom got scared and she made me move to my aunt and uncle's house. You moved because of one fight. My family has been fighting with the neighborhoods a whole lot. No way. I mean, it wasn't like a huge gang. It was only a couple guys who were up to no good. Like literally where I live. And now one of my favorite places to hang out upstairs. The only thing I know about this room is it's unnecessarily large. It was originally built for you know those video game levels when you walk in, you're like, oh, this is a safe level, nothing's going on. And then the level starts shaking and the boss comes down and you have to fight them. That's what this room was originally built for, but now it's, I think Moon plays on her computer all day or something. I'm not really sure what goes on in there. And this is the canteen, run by none other than Tony Cash. I gotta clear something up real quick. You're not even part of the video or whatever, I gotta say. I called your cell phone the other day. Yeah. That was me. I was Fantastic Sam when I was like, this is Fantastic Sam. There's been a recall on your haircut. We got to bring these things off the street. We'll give you a full refund. That was me. I apologize. Your haircut's not that bad, honestly. I thought it was the kid down the street. No. It was you. I'm sorry about that. This right here is called the war room. That's French for meeting place. This is where the most intense stuff happens every week. Breaking down charts, schedules, super intense meetings like that movie, uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn, Rick Ross or something like that. I saw that when I was a kid. It's very confusing. Meetings get a little crazy. If you're here, it might even look a little something like this. I just don't get it. Skateboards are up, but skateboard sales are down. I just, 
Sir, it's him again. Santa Claus has been making skateboards for free. Every Christmas in his workshop, he doesn't give a dime to the pro skaters he rips off. Shit, a fucking nightmare. If we're gonna save skateboarding, there's only one thing left we can do. We're going to the North Pole, and we're kicking Santa's ass. Or something like that. I'm not really sure what goes on in this room. My personal favorite thing about this particular room is table setup. See, they got two tables, but they geniusly put them up equal sign style. This is how you should do it. Whenever you go to like Applebee's and they put them butt to butt, it's so hard to hear somebody at the other end. You know what I mean? This would revolutionize the restaurant business. Personally, I like setting them up butt to butt when I go to restaurants. I go into a Denny's, tell them I got like a party of 15 on the way. Nobody's coming. They'll put some tables together so I can sit at the head of a super long table by myself. I call it King Style. Through here, the last section, the lounge. Oh yeah, that goes to the roof. This is the upstairs lounge. You know what's even better than upstairs lounge? Upstairs lounge, collector's edition. It is fully encased in glass to keep its rookie value. Believe it or not, you cannot shoot a bullet through this thing. It's super illegal, you'll go to jail if you try. It's the hologram Charizard of upstairs lounges. And I know what you're thinking. Did that ladder really go to the roof? Best for last, the first time you will ever see the barracks rooftop. Wait, have you ever showed the barracks roof? He's nodding no. And this is the beautiful rooftop where I have personally spent hours of my life, mainly because that door shut behind me and there is no way back in once it does that. Before we end this beautiful tour, I thought I'd check something out. When I was a kid, I always wondered if I could kickflip off a roof, how many kickflips would it do? So I'm gonna throw this off and we're gonna count, all right? We got the red camera just for this. All right, ready? Count them. My bad. That was my bad. Well, I hope we learned something today on this beautiful tour of the barracks. Like what that one guy's name was or where all those rooms were at. Tune in next time. We do behind the scenes part two, making it behind the scenes.